today I'm doing a what's on my iPhone video and this has been such a highly requested video and I'm finally getting around to doing it. I thought you guys would really enjoy watching this and I asked some of you on Twitter I think a while ago and a lot of you guys said you wanted to see it as well so I'm bringing it for you guys today. And a fun fact is while you guys are watching this I am in Peru right now which is crazy. I am there on a school trip so this is pre-filmed for you and um, yeah so when you're watching this just know that I am thinking about you guys while I'm in Peru. So I think that's enough talking for the intro and let's go ahead and get started. Alright so starting out with my phone case. This is my phone case. It's from Garage and it has some super cute little cacti slash succulents on it and I love how bright and colorful it is. It's one of my favorite cases I've ever owned and if I can find it on the website I'll link it down below. And I've had this case for about a year because I'm just in love with it. So right when you open up my phone you see my little lock screen and I actually love this pattern. I think I put it on there in January But it has this pattern with a bunch of little tumblery leaves on it I found that on Google images and then you unlock my phone and my home screen is this little flamingo Kate Spade type looking Pattern, I don't know how to explain it, but I found that on Google as well I just thought it was cute and it reminds me of summer because I'm honestly missing the warm weather right now So on the front page, I pretty much have all the basic stuff I feel like my iPhone is not that interesting a lot of the things I like to keep in this little random folder because honestly I never really use that stuff who really uses it? Let's be honest here. So for my first folder, it is called music and I only have two apps in here because I use Pandora and Spotify a lot. If you guys didn't know, I listen to music all the time when I'm getting ready, when I'm filming videos and stuff. So Pandora and Spotify are my go-tos. I love them so much. And then I have this folder which is called news. I honestly have no idea why it's called that. I guess I just forgot to change it. So let's change it now and call it social. So this is my social folder and it has Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube Studio, because that's where I can chug up on all my analytics and stuff like that. And then I have this app called Dish. It's really cool. My friends Olivia and Emma Kate showed me this app and we just make funny food reviews on here and I love this so much. So then I have the app called Uvu and if you guys didn't know it's basically like FaceTime with a bunch of people. I think as many as you want. It's really awesome. I used it a lot when I was working on an English project with three of my other friends. It just made it easy to do it all at once instead of having to call each other. So that was really helpful. And then I have GroupMe which is for a lot of school clubs and stuff. We text through that app and it just makes things easier. And then I have Musical.ly which I don't know if you guys know that I have a Musical.ly. I try not to make them too cringy. I try to just do comedy Musical.ly's and stuff. But if you guys want to follow me, here's my username, mini.lucy13. And um, I should probably post more often on there. So that is it for my social folder. And I do keep some other social media apps out here. I'll get to that in a second. Are you kidding me? My phone just died. I was literally at 40%. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So once you leave my social folder, you have Gmail, and I go on Gmail all the time because I'm responding to a bunch of YouTube emails and stuff like that. This is one of my number one and most used apps on my phone. Just a fun fact, I'm constantly emailing people back and forth. And then we have Snapchat, and guys, I need to step up my Snapchat game. I know I've been slacking on my Mini Lucy Snaps account, and I'm so sorry about that. I feel like Instagram stories kind of made me stop going on it. This is actually my personal Snapchat. Snapchat, which I don't give out. I only use it with friends and stuff like that. So once I'm out of Snapchat, we have YouTube, which literally is my most used app on my entire phone. I'm constantly checking on my subscriptions and other YouTube stuff, talking to friends and things like that. So then we have Instagram and if you're not following me, what are you doing? I'm just kidding. But if you want to go follow me, my Instagram is minilucy13, same as this YouTube name. And I've been posting a lot over there and I've been trying to keep a good theme. So if you guys want to go give it some love, go for it. I will not be mad at you. And then we have a photos folder which just has some photo editing apps. I actually don't really use these apps that much because I don't have time to go out and take a lot of pictures like other YouTubers. I wish I did because their pictures are so cute and they always turn out so well. So I usually just take screenshots for my videos which I'm sure you guys have already noticed but I still have fun posting pictures and occasionally I will edit in Facetune just to lighten up the background and stuff. Snug I actually use all the time because it's awesome. I don't know if you've heard of it but basically you can load your Instagram feed onto here and you can 
press the little plus sign to choose a picture and see if that picture will match your theme which that is just so cool to me I love how you can see how everything will look together and I use this every single time I post just a little fun fact for you guys and then visco cam I used to use all the time but I've kind of stopped ever since I got facetune and I'll also just edit on my camera roll because they have some pretty good photo editing stuff so then on the bottom bar we have just my phone safari mail which I never use I just have the gmail app and music and I don't know if you guys are confused Used with the Apple Music too, but it's not letting me play music. It's super weird. And on the next page, we have FaceTime, calculator, an extras folder with a bunch of stuff that I never really use. And then we have this white noise app, which I think I had last year as well. But I love this because sometimes it's just soothing to put this on in the background when you're trying to fall asleep or something. I'm the type of person that cannot sleep in pure silence. It's just too quiet. And then we have my games folder, and I don't play games that often, but if I'm on a car ride or something, on a trip sometimes I'll play some games so I have Geometry Dash then I have my Miranda Sings app then Face Swap Live and this game called Color Switch I think and I played this a lot over the summer with my friend Olivia while we were on a little church choir tour and then a little Alchemy which if you guys didn't know it's this fun little game where you mix a bunch of like elements together and try to make new elements and I have words with friends which I play with my grandma we just have fun kind of chatting back and forth she is beating me so much like I am not very good at putting words together then I have this app called multi-track radio where you can kind of record your voice and make it sound like you're harmonizing with yourself which is really cool and then of course I have my Christmas countdown because as you guys know I'm obsessed with Christmas and I always have that on my phone. I've had that for like three years, I think. Then I have my Wells Fargo app, which just helps me keep track of my bank account. And then I have a shopping folder, which has Mode, which is where I used to sell my Squirt. And then Dote Shopping, Michael's free prints, which is really cool, guys. Like, you can get free photo prints and you only pay $1 shipping. And then Depop, where you can sell old clothes and buy clothes from other people. And then I have this app called Sprinkle of Jesus, which I absolutely love. If you guys didn't know, I'm a Christian. And this app just basically notifies you with random little Bible verses or motivational quotes. It just kind of brings you some, like, reassurance if you're having a tough day and it kind of just helps you think about God so I really love that app. Then I've been recently obsessed with this app called Duolingo and I'm sure you've heard of it but I just found out about it my friend Adina told me and I'm trying to learn German on there it's super fun I try to do it every day except I haven't been very good lately but basically it's an app that helps you like play games and do little word things to help you learn a different language. They have so many languages on there. My friend's learning Hebrew. I'm learning German. It's pretty awesome. You can also challenge your friends. This sounds sponsored, but I swear to you it's not. I'm actually obsessed with this app. It's super fun. And then I have this weather app called Sunshine where it kind of tracks where you live and it just tells you in the morning when you wake up like you should wear a sweater today because it's going to be cold or wear short sleeves because it's going to be warm outside. And I base what I wear to school off of this weather app. And my last app is Bitmoji. My Bitmoji looks nothing like me. I honestly like can't make it look like me. My friend's Bitmoji looks identical to her but I can't make mine work. And that is it for all that is on my iPhone. It's pretty basic, but you guys were really interested in seeing it, so I wanted to show you. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know what is on your iPhone. I'm very curious to know if we have some similar apps on here. So I think that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video.